a beaver. One of the family that lives here in this lake and they're accomplished engineers. Beavers feed on all kinds of vegetation and eat wood as well as leaves. Stocking the fridge takes a lot of work and the beavers are at their busiest in autumn. It's time for some more timber born. Last time we made it through the first dry season, then we built up the basics of our beaver village, got all our food and science and stuff. Yeah, let's, let's go build bigger, big brain beaver buildings. Two scientists over there, crazy little beaventers. These guys beating some logs down. What is she be nearing us? There we go. Look, look, look. I love water physics sims. I mean, this is a really simple grid sim, but you can see that they've got like flowing as it goes around corners and stuff. And it also seems to go like faster when it goes to narrow regions. Like, I think that's Newley's principle or whatever. And there we go, our pumps are working, our plants are growing. Hey, look, we've got some berries again. And now our big old dam fills up. So I think I might want to like expand across to this side and then maybe do some water collection, maybe even find a way to raise the level of this dam somehow. Damn. If we can raise that two levels, though, it seems to be quite a, a wide area over there. Like a mega project, we go and build a huge dam wall over there. We could fill this whole area like two, three tiles high. And that could last for a couple of days at least. This guy's building their things. So something I've seen other people when they're playing, you need to actually make sure you build your path on top of your, your dams, otherwise they can't reach. And there we go, the farms are growing, they just need to replant stuff, it dried and died. Now trees will start growing back. It's starting to run out of space, so let's build some new houses. Um, I might need to unlock some stairs and things, let's see. Um, wooden stairs, cost 70 research. Yeah, we can get those. So then we need to do something with our paths to get up there. This one it makes some space to figure out how I want to do this. So we can get a stair up somewhere over there. Let me actually just pause. Some houses on top. We don't have enough to unlock the double lodge yet. On top like that. You can't build over regions. Can we are the arches or something? Can work as a bridge. Could we make like a huge tunneled area over here? Like if we get that's a hundred research. We just don't have enough. Okay, I'm gonna waste some resources and see how this goes. So if we can we put yes, we can put that down there. And we can build across there. And then they can still use that as a pathway. Yes. And we can even add a second connection up to the roof over there with a stairway so they can go across that area there somehow. Rooftop terrace. Oh, it's a biggie. It is a big one. Stuff up here. This guy can hold six people. I love games with verticality to them. Maybe we leave some space for some shrubbery? A shrubbery! And then we can do... And then maybe just leave that for shrubbery or something? A shrubbery! And then we can put a path up there, up there, and there. Yeah, that's cool. It's going to take a while for resources to come. Um, trees are growing there, almost across the river. Well, I'll be damned. So I've been looking at the map over here. It looks like this little hole over here could make for a nice little secondary storage sort of thing, perhaps? Maybe? Perhaps? I don't know. See, look at it. It's the dam it goes over here. The water flow is changing. So it's like speeding up in a small gap over there and then spreading out over there. It's cool. Let's see. Our resources... Uh, maybe we should start doing some potatoes. 
I think things are slowing down because of the distances these guys over here have to walk. So maybe we can also make a, um, a hauling post. Let's put a little hauling post over there. And maybe we can get another warehouse near that. This one might be filling up here. Yeah. Then once we get across over here, we can actually start using this as farming ground and stuff. How do we get gears? That comes from a gear workshop and he's 120 HP. We are currently using 50. So that leaves us with 130. So we can connect it to that system, I think. That will require 100 signs to unlock, so it'll be a while. We can get some more water storage as well. But I'd like to get the big ones because it's so much more efficient. 300 versus 30. I'd like to see like pumped water in the future. I mean, this is early access, so there's definitely going to be more stuff in the future. So things might change, but we'll see. We've got plenty of berries. I could have actually turned off the farmhouse so we had more available workers, but oh well. Ah, there we go. We've got our forester is up. So with this, in this region, we can actually start now building other things. Um, so we can build more berries, we can build more trees. So our wood is relatively low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant some trees. So birch is quick, um, but not necessarily a lot. So I'm going to build just a couple over there. And then some pine for some slightly, well, slightly more efficient wood. And then I'm going to build some maple as well for like the rest of the area. I'm just going to fill it in the holes over here so we don't kill any of these existing ones. Even grow more some more berries over there, which might not be the worst idea. I love these busy beavers, they're so cute. Cool, now we're getting our carrot harvest in. I think I'm going to start utilizing some of the space for potatoes. So now we can get a grill to grill potatoes. And it seems to be really nice and efficient because it gives you one potato or 0.1 logs gives you four cooked potatoes. Yes, please. Why is this not being done? Are we just waiting for logs? That's fine. As you can see, the water over here is now going super fast. Fill the beavers. Look at them go. Almost done. Three more logs. So how these work is you can see that there's like a level that the dam will fill up to and then it will hold back water to that depth and then it will flow over. You're doing a damn good job. Done. Nice. So now we can start building to the side of the world. If they can reach here. I think they can, yeah. Look. Awesome. So we can build some more farms up here. We can build some. So let's get a little lumberjack flag over here. And another one. Let's do it over there. I mean, we could even do bridges now across the river, now that we've dammed it up. You can see the water level over here. It doesn't seem to have leveled out over there. It sort of seems to want to flow in that corner still. Which I guess... No, it doesn't make sense. That's fine. It'll recalculate, I think, when the next drought season comes. Which is such an awesome little mechanic for a city builder like this. So I think I'm going to go and add a gear workshop over here. Costs 100 signs. That's fine. We got it. Hmm. Okay. It's got its power input on that side. That's not ideal because you can't build these over paths. You can get a higher one, but we don't have that yet. Maybe we can unlock it. Let's do it. So that will bring power over the street. We can keep that up there. How do we do that? Do we put that on a platform? Yeah. Here workshop. Let's just place that building down. We want to put a path. So we want to get our power into there. So I want to put a another platform over there so we can put a corner on there. Yes. That'll work. Yes. And that should then cap up the power usage over there. Cool. 
こここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここここ Who's next? Okay, we need more water storage.、Uh, I guess we've got a spot over there we can add another little tank. This area is now completely unavailable. Maybe we should also put a wood storage this side of things.、Um, a log pile here. Then、uh, they don't have to go so far. Now, I think. Our winters are going to start lasting longer and longer, so, so maybe we need to make sure we're stocking up more for this, the next seasons. Because you know, beavers get really thirsty. Yeah, they, they like to、uh, consume their fluids. Also, we don't need 10 haulers. Let's just set that to two.、Um, so now let's see. We've got. So now they should have. Yeah, they got a 10. Kilograms extra to carry. They carry 20 kilograms. Cool. So now they're using their little rooftop terrace as well. A great place to talk the night well. A b r o t h e r view. Oh, three days until dry season. Smacking their logs. I love this log technology over here. It's so cool. It's a, it's a nice alternative to like their electrical system in most city builders. I like how the forest's job is to just sit up there in a tower and、uh, wiggle. 2.2 days until dry. What is this symbol? Nothing. Oh, we didn't assign cutting. Freaking idiot. What an idiot. So we need to chop down some trees. Chop down some trees. We've got a nice little、uh, town now. Gotta find that thumbnail shot. Okay, so now. Winter, I mean, not winter, dry season is in 0.2 days. Eek! Building needs power to operate. Oh, it's just not finished building. That's fine.、Um, you'll get that. Do we have enough water and food? I don't know. Come on, harvest these potatoes.、Uh, I'm going to set them to prioritize harvesting now, just because the drought has started. It's going to be a four day long drought. Eek! Eek. Let's see, it's already dropping down over here. But this is now keeping our water in our little zone over here, at least for a while. We'll see if we zoom in over here, the water level will drop down slowly over time. I don't know if I can hold the camera here for that long. Notice we've got no power now because、um, there's no flow. With the water. So that turns everything off for the dry season. So we could actually turn this lumber mill off now because there's no power, and we can turn that off because there's no power and get people to do other stuff. I love that now we've got this little oasis of things working over here. Yeah, we're good for food and water. I think we might make the second season as well. I like that it's a, a nice way to add、um, escalating difficulty without adding combat and stuff like that. You don't need combat to add a tension to a game. Yeah, this water is holding up nicely. It's been two days already. I think it has dropped down a little bit already.、Um, I can even add a, another house now that this area is constructed. Let's go and add a 
platform over there. And you can add a little housey over there. I love it. I love it. This is the best damn game I've ever played. Yavo has died of old age. And oh no, and Suya died of old age. I missed that. And Suya, I'm sorry. Who is our youngest? Zenma. We can rename you. You're gonna be Ai Hansuyuki, the baby Hansuya. And then we can find the next youngest. Quagatsok. We're gonna call you Carl and Junior. Carl! This name's people, Carl. And dry season is kaput. Welcome back, Green. The drought has ended. Hey guys, we're surviving pretty well. And our potatoes are getting cooked. People should stop getting happy. Um, I am going to set this to planting priority. And now we can start turning these things back on. Just when the flow gets here, it shouldn't take long. And let's see if that uh, little corner of water rotating. There we go. Yeah, the flow is now even. Whoosh. Now we've got power. We just need to get these things built. Oh, it needs gears to make those. But we need power to make... Well, shit. shit. Well, what we can do is we can add a temporary power wheel thing. Um, damn, um, damn, that was completely unintentional. Just demolish the path over here and add a water wheel next to it. Will that work? Hey, they're happier than ever. Not a water wheel. You want a power wheel. So, now they've got nutrition two. Now they don't have fun and they don't have nutrition three. So we can get fun, knowledge, spirituality, and aesthetics. Aesthetics we can do by unlocking some stuff. We've got a lot of science at the moment. So we can unlock some shrubbery, shrubbery. We can get roofs later we get a beaver statue a statue of a well-fed beaver i love that um, but that's expensive let's get a shrub and that'll be aesthetics in one tile so we can add some shrubs like that we need a path over here we can add another shrub there can add one in those corners there. I'm just looking at where this little nooks where I'm not really going to put anything else. Uh, that just needs a path, that's fine. I quite like the music of this game as well, it's nice and chilled. I think we need to do some more foresting because we don't have much in the way of trees. And that's going to be a problem. So let's build a forester over here somewhere let's build it there that gets a nice big area and then we can plant some i'm going to do maples because this area is just full of maple anyway and Suyuki is working in the gear workshop in the morning at least there we go we've got who's working in here we've got rumo 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 working his will be the tail off And now we've got gears over there to build those, so now this thing is finished and we don't need this anymore. We can actually tell them to stop working and it is not working? Oh, it's not finished. My bad. Back to work. I missed that we didn't have this one finished yet. We just need one gear. Food is good, water is good. Let's see, now we can actually unlock the large water tank. 20 gears and planks, yep. The other ones did 30 and they took up two each. This is 300 and taking up nine tiles. No, six tiles. So that's way more efficient. Put that like that. We'll put a path over there. And we'll get two benches. Let them relax. Let's see what happens. So we can unlock that. Let's put a shrubbery over there and a little bench. Why not? Let's see what it does. And they can sip their water and look at the farms. 
So what I think we need to build some more houses because we're starting to run out of space. Maybe we unlock the bigger ones now. Triple lodge with a double lodge. Um, let's just get the double for now. So it's actually double height as well. I see. I see. So it actually has its entrance over there. So if we build that there, we can build another little lodge over here. Get our path through here. How cool is that? We can turn this off. Now it is powered, yes. We're using up 170 or 180, so that's our power done over there. Food is good. Water, let's prioritize the big boy over here. It's the same building is full, so we need more storage. We can get the large warehouse, we can't afford that, so let's just get a small one. We've got another person dying of old age. Peniel has died of old age, oh no! Oops, this little bug over here. Little tooltip that popped up, that's not going. To be fair, that's the only bug that I've seen so far, so yeah, good job. Early access, not bad. And it's gone. <laughs> Look at all these gears. Is it more efficient to just replace these with trees? Because it doesn't look like they grow. Whereas these, they seem to be replacing them. So maybe it is best to sort of replace stumps with actual trees. Because then they can grow them after chopping them down. I'm not actually sure if that's the best idea, but I'm doing it. Uh-oh. That seems a lot quicker than it was before the last time. Drought is coming. Oil mash him, grill him on a non-stick pan. <laughs> what do you call a female uh, beaver? Madame. But um I don't know, they don't seem to have any currency in this. If they just go to the uh, river bank. If I delete this, will we get more water up in this area? If we demolish that, uh, this will fill with water and then we'll get more green over here, right? Also, we'll have a bigger reservoir of water for stuff over here. So then we can actually get a more of a growing area here. Yeah. Not that food is our main problem. We can do some more forestry. I'm going to fill this area with more maple. Because why not? You know, like tree knots. Bad jokes, bad jokes. I want to leave that for a path so we can get like a bridge or something here. Suspension bridge, two by one, three by one, four by one, five by one. How many is this? This is a big gap, this is. And any seven long, there's only a six long. Because I'd rather not dam twice in a dammed area. Um, you know what I mean? You can tell we don't want planks and gears over here so that they don't just travel all the way over here. You know, there's no point traveling halfway across the map for something. Nice, we're in the dry time, yet we still don't have, have any problem with water. We're all filled up. It's great. Got no power, so we can maybe make these guys free. Etienne has died of old age. Sorry, dude. Let's go find our beavers. Let's go back to normal speed. That's on Suki. She. What we don't have is any fun. Uh, what gives better life expectancy comfort and all level three yeah it's gonna be a long time before we get that check at them hanging out here on the roof i would chill with these beavers up there that looks so cool got the little lamp oh they're so cute so cute such an idyllic little place yeah this place is done now i'm gonna start doing maples over there we can maybe actually start unpausing these to chop down some trees here just because there's nothing for them to do over here. I'm actually going to demolish the power wheel over here and bring back our path because it's getting powered now. And the other stuff, so 
don't actually know if that gives us resources back. I don't think it did. Oh well. Let's bring our path down to the water's edge. I want to prioritize this. I want to see if they use this benchy. Actually, let's prioritize that. Well, actually, I'm not sure how it works. Will they be able to get to that behind there? Or shrub? I don't actually know how the pathing works. Like you, some like builder games and calling it builder games, they won't be able to get to things in corners. No, it looks like you can get there. It is filling up logs, so it's fine. What gives fun? Carousel. This is 400 spirituality at a temple. Yeah, those are all aesthetics, monuments, or just all. They do it over a wide area. Seven tiles, ten tiles, twenty tiles. You need 300 iron for that. Damn. And it uses power. Paper mill. That will let us do explosives and printing press for books. Beehive. We can unlock that. Boost the growth of nearby plants. We need paper though. We've lost a bunch of workers. We're now down to 21 out of 27. Luke has died of old age. No! Luke! No! I think I want to get another farmhouse and another growing area up over here. So let's see. Actually, no. Wood is up. Let's not do that. Let's put some maples. Let's just do this whole area. Why not? And then we can say we want to do tree cutting for that whole area. Tree felling? Tree cutting? I don't know. How wide an area does it? We can also start planting trees over there. But I think we're going to have an industrial sector over here. Hey, these guys can't reach there anymore. Ooh, okay. Uh, so either we build a bridge or we build them elsewhere. Oops. Also, these don't reach there anymore as well. I think let's build a bridge. So this is three across. Across 400 science. I mean, it's not like there's a lot that we need to unlock immediately. So let's, let's just go crazy. Um, oh. He doesn't want to build it there. It's move that and that. Can we build it there? Yes. Haha! <laughs> and since I can't use that spot, shrubs! I forgot about the paw thing when I built those there. Oh, uh, wow! We've got 30 spots. Oh, yeah, we finished this house over here. I love it. You can see sort of little planks through there. Sort of semi Tudor style. Is that the style? I don't know. Maybe you're so cheerful right now. It's lovely. Shabba dabba da. Nabba dabba da. So what else increases fertility? Um, it looks like fertility is only the social life. So we've got to make sure that there's social stuff for all of our bevas. Otherwise uh, they dry up and die. So let's get some more leisure. We don't really have any space to build the rooftop one. So let's just build a second campfire. Then we'll have space for 5, 10, and 6. Yeah, so 16 out of the get leisure. That's actually still not enough. Okay, we've got a couple growing up. We've got 6 unemployed. Let's um, increase the number of builders. Let's add some more haulers. We need more storage. How much does the big one cost? 250. We don't have enough for that yet. Oh, yeah, and our big water tank is done. And our. Yes, they do sit on the park bench. Every now and then, some vandal will eat on a bit property <laughs> because it's made out of wood and they're beaver they're gnaw they're, no. they're gonna gnaw on it get it no don't do that sorry i'm very bad we're really good for berries though i think we need to start concentrating more on other stuff let's turn that one off because it's so far away and uh start focusing on farming let's put a Another potato farm over here. 
Yeah, and I'm gonna build another um, farmhouse. I guess we're gonna put it, but if we put one over here, it does not reach all of those. But it would reach this whole area, so let's. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Now we've got enough for bigger storage, so let's get the large warehouse. Ooh, it's actually a funny shape, that's cool. I'm gonna build it there. So now they can access this area. Noise, 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 noise. And we're also gonna cancel that area so we can build a path over here. Yeah, there goes a path. Our storage is being a problem, so let's prioritize that. We might want to think about adding more like lumber mills and gear workshops because we don't. Actually, gears are fine, but it's the planks that are the problem. It's going to need a lot of logs, actually. Um, yeah, they're not getting enough nutrition, too, and they don't have any knowledge. So I want to focus on getting more potatoes. I'm going to prioritize potatoes. We may even want to just like take out the carrots and replace them completely with potatoes. Maybe later. I'm just concerned that uh, we'll get a shortage then because it needs more work. You can't eat a raw potato. Well, I mean, you could, but it's not very nice. Actually, maybe a beaver would prefer a raw potato because it's crunchy. But what do I know? Despite the efforts of kids that try to use it as a swimming pool, this tank was designed to serve industrial purposes. <laughs> We've got so much water and food now. We've got a lot of unemployed beavers, I just noticed that. Yay, they're happier than ever. We just unlocked the iron teeth and our well-being is up. Yeah, because we satisfied nutrition too fully. So fun, nutrition three, knowledge and spirituality. Um. <laughs> Oh no, three days! Cycle four. Up here is just like this big canyon. And this looks like an area that where we could build a pretty nice big dam. Like, look at that big space over there. We could build a dam up over here and fill this region up with water completely. That would store water for quite some time, but is it worth it? I don't know. Yeah, I think we're getting like a plank shortage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand our logistics network a little bit more. Okay, but we can still get some water wheels over here, I think. So as far as I know, power does travel between buildings, so we can add this to the network, sort of. Um, and yeah, there's the power gone. Um, we want to get a lumber mill. How would we do this? So that needs to get power in that left front area. So we could put that over there. So we would want to replace that with a T shaft over there. Because that get down over there or maybe we just build a whole complicated system of above ground power delivery we can do that it's fine just costs stuff to build we can build a little uppy thing over there we can build a four-way shaft there we can build a let's build another four-way there just in case we need to get power that direction i don't think we do and get our logs up there. Gotta raise your log up. You erect it high into the sky. Another two days of drought. Actually, we can remove this growing area over here. They can't grow there. There's no green. Tap maple produces syrup, but high quality timber is an even sweeter reward. I was wondering if they were gonna do like a syrupy. I mean, there's beekeeping. Actually, let's look at that. Um, oh yeah, we needed a paper. I forgot about that. I'm an idiot. This, we still need tons and tons of planks. So maybe I should have actually built ordinary storage um, in the meanwhile. Because we are running out of storage. Oops, we filled up on 
habitation. So let's see if we can expand our lodges, our Kenny Loggings. Oh, we need a name. His name is Kenny Logging. Come on. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? got any other ideas for um, pun based names or just regular beaver names go for it definitely stick around for more pun based communications we could get the mini lodge to just make up little spaces if it's one single beaver it costs five logs we can build that into little spaces where things wouldn't work so we didn't put a path over here that would help that would help so we can build that there let me build that a mini lodge, build a mini lodge on top, then we can build a path down over here, over there. So we need at least that, and then we need a staircase up there as well. So maybe we build, maybe we just fill that in and we put up a stairway up there. Because who knows what else we're going to build into this area. We still great on water, still great on food, logs are not great. So I think we need to do more foresting. We've got a little space where we can lumberjack over here. So let's pop that in here over there. Because now we're getting a ton of maples over here. Drought is ended. Now we're into cycle five. Yes, I know it's not connected. We're going to get there. But we need planks. There's the water again. Beautiful. Power's back on. What is the problem with this? It needs power. They just need to build stuff got 400 science let's see if we can get something cool um, get a temple use a lot of planks but we'll get there eventually make it a low priority in this area and yeah, that fits over there I think it's got a cool little tree thing in the center there it's a temple to the tree gods I'm just going to make sure we've got paths going this way, just in case. I don't want to box us in. Uh, maybe we want to connect this pathway in that direction as well, just in case. Probably should also have paths going out there, but for now it'll do. We have got 37 beavers. Uh, we might need more builders. Since we've got so many unemployed, we can build a builder's hut. Maybe we put it in our industrial sector. Uh, maybe we put it over there. Yeah, it'll do. That doesn't need to be high priority. We do need to get our constructions over here done quickly. This thing needs tons and tons of planks still. This thing just needs its damn gears to be done. Because Ronjati over here is unable to do anything. Oh, Badagaragari. Logs are good. It's really just the planks. You see, now our logs are skyrocketing now that our farms are growing up. It just took 24 days for them to get the maples growing, and now we're just getting tons and tons. That's great. Can these have multiple cookers? No. I guess we could just build more science dudes because we've got people sitting around doing nothing. Inventivers. I'm gonna build them over here in the dirty zone because um, they're not using up green I don't think they actually need the power though they can connect to the power it doesn't seem that they require it to function it seems it does exactly this. it's producing three science that's producing three science maybe the productivity is less if you don't have it but that seems to be more down to how long they're in the building for not anything else. I don't know. Maybe it's a, a planned future thing for like high tech. I'm gonna put the temple to low priority, just so the planks go to other things first. All our planks at the moment are actually going to this thing. Let's lower that so it goes to the high priority things first, because these gears need to finish so we can get more planks. There we go. Come on, we just need a couple more. How's our food? Potatoes, we could do more still. Carrots are just getting constantly eaten. Berries, they're not even touching anymore, I don't think. Like our berries are just filling up and up and up and never being eaten. 
Let's look at that, 631. Does that ever go down? It might go down now that we're out of other foods, actually. Let's get some more growing zones. So potato harvest is just going to be that whole area over here and that whole area over there. And then this will be our residential zone. Okay, this is working now. Great. They can't actually get into that zone there. Clear farming area. So this is now just wasted space. Okay, cool. We've got our large warehouse is complete. Now these things should start getting constructed and people can start to move in because we were a little bit backlogged by that now. We are actually um, constrained by our HP, so if things are being lower efficiency. So now our planks should really accelerate. Oh, we don't have any paths over there, that's why. Joink. Idiot. Maybe we just get more houses. Uh, build up a big network of things over here. Let's see. Um, how does the uh, big one work? 250? Yeah, we've got that. Uh, gives nine. Just logs. Oh, it's just big. It's not, not three story. It's just big. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a big old um, connection thingy over here. Let's build a path preemptively this time. I guess we could build a a little one over here in that space for the, the bachelor ones. And then we need a path over there, which then ruins up ones. We could add a little shrubbery or something over there. Let's do it. Use our space. Shrubby. Can't go put a shrub under there. That's fine, we can just pull the path. That's fine. Got plenty of logs. And we've got Kenny loggings. <laughs> ah. So talking about loggings, we've currently logged about um, two and a half hours of gameplay over here. It's not bad. I think we've done pretty well for that amount of time. Potatoes seem to be doing better. Do we maybe need to build a... No, we don't need another griller. We just need more potatoes. Maybe we can get that scarecrow. Uh, not scarecrow, bees. Oh no, I keep on forgetting, we need paper. We need paper. Um, where was that? Paper mill. Okay, how does this work? It needs power on its side over there. Here comes the dry season. So yeah, we would need more power still. Oops. Temple is complete. Yeah, beavers thank the whimsical nature it's relative generosity <laughs> it's only relatively generous because you know sometimes it's a drought and uh, they're not very happy so now we should start getting um, spirituality satisfied and that will give us happier beavers again spirituality gives them working speed plus 30 percent so all of these that you satisfy just makes them more productive in so many ways now our wood storage is full so the, the iron, what's it, the iron teeth ones, they've got like stackable wood storage. These guys, their wood storage can't stack. So you get like unique buildings between the different factions, which is kind of cool. I'm going to build a couple of them over there like that. I'm also going to bring our path through over here. And while we're thinking about it, let's build a staircase. Because who knows when we're going to want to get around there. I want to connect more water wheels in here. Can we maybe build them on this side? Maybe do we just build it over there? Yay! Updated beavers. We're level 9 beavers. So the paper mill, if we bring in power through the front it comes out the sides. Plug that in over there. I think this was a mistake. Let's put a power down over there and replace this one. A T over there. And then we need a path under there. And we can put like a shrubbery or something there. We can put a bench down. Now nah, let's put a shrub in. It's pretty. So then we can actually maybe just take this straight up, let's build a platform 
and you can maybe replace one like that. So then the other thing was we want to build a printing press which we use paper to make books to give us knowledge. You can unlock that. Now that needs a plug-in from the front. I mean I guess we could just put it there though um, there are more efficient ways to do that. But since I've already built that thing over there, it's going to do it. So I think now we need a path up here. We've got seven unemployed beavers. So let's just put some more workers in there. Loggers, but I don't think we need them. Let's just get some more haulers. Uh, we can unpause the gatherer flag over there. I'm going to get a lot of idle. Did I say dwarves? Drought has ended, cool. Potatoes, now we're getting some potatoes, nice. 200 grilled potatoes. So we could start looking at going to the next tier of uh, food. Now to 58 vivas. Yeah, so that's now been two and three quarter hours on the log. So I'm gonna pause it down there and I think this is a great place to stop. We've got a thriving, like completely beautifully thriving beaver colony over here and um, yeah I think this game has huge potential I mean this just came into early access and you can see that there's still tons of stuff I haven't unlocked and I'm sure there's going to be lots and lots more added in the future I certainly hope so I can see them adding tons of more mechanical and automation stuff yeah uh, if you want to see me play more we can start like really industrializing and um, yeah, let me know what you think. Alrighty, um... I'll see you around. Hey,